hello so this one will probably be quite short this is my top four favorite OTPs basically meaning this year these are basically the ships that I discovered this year that I'm like okay these two should be together forever <laughs> so let's get started number four is Paul Dearden and Sarah Manning from Orphan Black who were played by Dylan Bruce and Tatiana Maslany um, I was very apprehensive about this relationship when I started the show because I didn't trust Paul and I still don't trust Paul but the chemistry that Dylan and Tatiana have is really good and just I feel like this relationship could work if I felt like I could completely trust Paul. I don't completely trust Paul right now. We will see what happens in season two, but the chemistry between Dylan and Tatiana is really good and I just can't wait to see where this relationship goes. Hopefully I don't get heartbroken. We'll see though, because it seems like any relationship I like, there is heartbreak. Okay, so number three is Ichabod and Abby from Sleepy Hollow. Um, at first I didn't see this as a romantic relationship, I just saw it as friends. I still kind of am there, but I'm starting to see more romantic things. But I'm actually, th I love drama, so I'm actually really, really can't wait to see what happens when Katrina comes back. Because if Ichabod and Abby start feeling stuff for each other and then Katrina comes back in the picture, that's gonna be drama and I love drama. And I don't hate Katrina. I actually really like Katrina and Ichabod's relationship. But I like him with Abby more. So we'll see what's next for these two. Number two is another ship from Orphan Black. I'm sorry, but... But it is Cosima and Delphine. Once again, Tatiana has great chemistry with her. Um, the actress who plays Delphine, um, I'm going to butcher her name, Evelyn Brochu. I think that's how you say her name. She plays Delphine. Um, it's kind of the same thing with um, Sarah and Paul. Like, I don't completely trust Delphine. And... Cosima is such a sweetheart. I love her character. That I don't want her to get hurt, even, even though she's technically already kind of been hurt by Delphine. Um, we'll see what happens in season two. I really want this relationship to work out because I do think they're kind of perfect for each other but I don't know what will happen because once again I don't completely trust Delphine so we shall see but I, I'm hoping for a happy ending I'm probably not gonna get it because the universe usually hates me speaking of the universe hating me and it never working out my number one OTP is Logan and Veronica from Veronica Mars this damn relationship oh my god uh, these two like to fuck with my heart, which is actually their tag on Tumblr. Yep, these two like to fuck with my heart. That is their tag, because it's true. They just bring me so much heartache and so much pain because, ugh, they're both stupid. Ugh. And first of all, I will say this, I do not hate Piz. I love Piz. I just think him and Veronica are boring when they're in a relationship together. When they're friends, they're fine, but when they're in a relationship together, they're boring. But I swear, ugh, like, I will be so annoyed if the movie has Veronica still with Piz. Because I know in the beginning she's supposed to be with Piz. But if this movie comes out and it ends with her still with Piz, I'm going to be pissed. And not because I hate Piz, but because I want her with Logan. I'm sorry. I'm a hardcore Logan Veronica shipper, even though these two are assholes and like to make me cry. But yes. <laughs> that is how I feel. So, yeah. That's it. Those are my OTPs for this year. Hope you enjoyed that. So like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Until next time, bye guys.